Hey there, this is Donna at Pequest Valley Art, and you're watching Paint This. Today's project is going to start off with the color phthalo blue, and I have some titanium white, and I just wet my number 16 inch flat brush, and we are going to start with the top with the sky. So I'm just loading plain old phthalo blue on the top and I'm just sort of doing crisscross strokes. I'm going for a gradient. It's going to start out dark on the top and get lighter as we go down. Okay. Next, I'm going to pick up some blue and some white on my brush. And I'm going to start to blend that in. Now I'm only picking up white. Okay, just picking up white again and now what I'm going to do is go I don't know maybe two-thirds of the way down my canvas and I'm going to make a little hilly section here doesn't have to be perfectly straight it's going to be the perimeter of our our frozen lake where our little penguin is going to be ice skating. I think I'm going to take more white. And again on the sides. Yeah, I'm going to lighten it up. I'm going to make it a day scene. So in that case, I'm going to go all over that blue that I put in initially on the top. And it's good if you have a combination of colors, dark blue, light blue. I mean, you know, the sky isn't exactly the same color everywhere you look now, is it? Okay, and what you wanna do is pull your brush across. Again, I'm gonna take some white and add it at the bottom. Just like that. I'm going to start to add white in different sections. Maybe it'll look a little cloudy. Just taking a little bit like on the corner of my brush and randomly just sort of dabbing it in and then lightly going over it with the brush so it doesn't take all the white away. I'm going to put some more up here and again just lightly back and forth okay okay and we're going to go over this with a christmas tree and a penguin and all kinds of stuff now what I'm going to do is take a towel and just wipe my brush off. I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to leave the little bit of blue in there, the phthalo blue. And now for the bottom part, I'm going to pick up white. Okay, and there should still be some blue in my brush, which there is. You can see it. Oops. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter of our frozen lake area. I'm going to pull these strokes straight across. Okay, and once again, it does not all have to be solid white. You want some blue in there. And then I'm going to give it one last 
back and forth swipe. Make sure you have all of your canvas covered. There we go. Okay. Touch this up just a little there. There. I'm going to rinse my brush out. Take my blow dryer and dry the canvas so we can get ready for the next step. Okay, so the next step. This is nice and dry now. I uh, created this image. I drew it. If you'd like a copy of it, please it, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to send you a copy of my drawing. Um, I have some graphite paper underneath and I'm going to trace the image of our cute little penguin on the canvas surface. And of course, I'm going to speed this up. And that should do it. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. For the next step, what we're going to do is take some titanium white, and I'm going to wet my brush, which, by the way, is a number five round brush. I'm going to take some white and start to fill in his face. I'm going to go over his eyes. There's a good chance this might need uh, two coats of white. Maybe not. I think I'm going to switch brushes to my flat brush. So I'm, I'm just taking a, I'm going to switch to a small number six flat brush. Again, I'm going to wet it, dry it off on my towel, pick up some more titanium white. That's better. And smooth it out, make it look nice. Picking up more paint. Okay, then I'm going to let that dry, and we're going to probably come back over that again. Then I'm going to do his belly. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is take a touch, and I mean a touch, a tiny, tiny bit of black. And add some. So our base coat is actually going to be gray. Really, really light gray. In fact, I'm going to go back over his face and do the same thing. And then I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to take black. I'm going to use the same small number six flat brush. And I'm going to do the surrounding areas of his body in his head and take your time try to enjoy the process and if you are enjoying this video please give me a like it'll help my little my little channel grow I would really appreciate that you might want to use a smaller brush for this if you're not comfortable 
with a flat brush. You might want to use a, uh, a round brush. Okay. Now I'm going to come up around his belly. Yes, I'm just using all black. his little wing. Have you ever seen one of these little penguins in person? Oh my god, they're so cute. They're so sweet. I'm going to come back on the other side with a smaller brush, but for now I'm just going to outline his big old, her big old belly. It could be a he, I guess. But I'm giving her a pink hat. And, not that a boy can't wear pink, but she's also going to have eyelashes, long eyelashes. When I drew her, I decided she was going to, it was going to be a girl. And we'll come back later and define that wing right now you can paint over it if you're afraid you know about losing the line and not being able to uh, do it without it without seeing the line later to leave a little space between your wing area you can even kind of paint in that direction here I'll pick up a tiny drop of white here so I can still see the uh, little line there he goes. Okay. Now I'm just going to complete this area over on this other side. And I think for that, I'm going to use the uh, a number two long brush. And I'm going to turn my canvas. You don't have to keep your canvas in one spot. You can turn it. Whatever makes it easiest for you and most enjoyable is what you should do. If you don't have a long brush, just use a round brush or a a smaller brush. I like the long brush because I get a nice straight line. Well, straighter anyway, with it. And it is just a cartoon, so like it doesn't have to be perfect. And I know we all say that, but I know I like mine to be as neat as possible. Okay. And then there's a little tiny area, a little leg area down here, just before the ice skate. And there's a little one here. There. Now what I'm going to do is take some magenta. a little thick I'm going to add a little bit of water to it I'm going to take a little bit of white and brighten it up a little bit take a little bit more when you're mixing your paint try to pull from the edges of your paint puddle so that you don't contaminate the entire the entire bit of paint I think I'm going to go a little lighter. It's going to dry darker, so I'm going to go just a hair lighter. And again, it's just magenta and white that I'm mixing. I'm still using my number six flat brush. And I'm going to go and paint his hat now. Okay. 
her hat. I don't know. His, hers, doesn't really matter. It's whatever you want it to be. Okay, and now I'm going to take that same magenta and white and I'm going to add a little more white so that I can do the pom-pom and the trim on the bottom of the hat. The same color or the same hue, just lighter. Okay, so I'm just going for a lighter pink. And we're going to come back and do some more to that pom-pom, too. Okay, once again, I'm going to need to turn my canvas. For now, oh, we have to paint her ice skates. Okay, I'm going to go back to my uh, number six or number five round brush and I'm going to pick up some white. trying to cover my pencil marks we're going to go back and pick up uh, which I should have done this before but I wasn't thinking what's new I'm going to paint her scarf that same the darker shade of magenta the first one that we blended And again, this is just a base coat. We're going to come back and do some fluffing. So we're just kind of laying color at this point. up some more. This one's going to kind of go over the other one just a little. And we're going to put some fringe on the end in a little while. Now you can decorate your scarves and your hat in any color. You can make a pointy hat, a Santa hat. whatever you want all right now I'm gonna go paint in his little beak and I have vermilion orange I might lighten it up some but the initial base coat is gonna be this color you 
know what I'm going to do too. I'm going to mix some white into it. Otherwise, I'm going to see all that blue behind it. I should have painted it white first. Yeah, that's better. I'm going to kind of go to a point there. Okay. And we'll come back and do some more to that in a little while. Alrighty, so now he needs some uh, runners on his skates. So I'm going to take a small... I don't know what size this is. It's a very small round brush. I can't read it anymore. And I'm going to paint on some skates. And to make the color, I'm going to take a little bit of white. And a touch of the black. Make a gray color. Okay. And a touch of water so it spreads smoothly. Okay. Mix that up. I'll start. On this one. There we go. He's got skates, yay. Rinse in my brush, um, number six flat brush, and I am going to give him some more white. This time I'll take plain white, and I'm just kind of dabbing it. Make him look a little fuzzy. Just like with the corner of the brush. Give him a little bit of a fuzzy look. I'm going to do the same thing on his belly. I'm actually not going to cover the whole belly. I'm just going to pull, almost like dry brushing, white into the center. Like that. Okay. I'm also going to define his wing with just a touch. And the same with the side, the front side of his belly. And on the tops of his wings there i'm going to give a second coat of paint to the little skates I'm just using the same brush. You can go back to your round brush if you want.
I'm gonna go over with some more orange and white to its nose. Oops, pulling some paint. It's still wet under there. Gotta let it dry. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take a, a scruffy brush. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It's got little rough edges, and I kind of spread the bristles out on it. And uh, I do not wet this one when I use it. And what I'm going to do is go over the hat and just dab and I'm going to take turns going back and forth between white and the light pink for the outer edge grab a little bit of both actually and it gives it sort of a fluffy look And I'm going to do the pom-pom the same way. I'm going to go a little bigger on this one, too. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to, without washing the brush, I'm going to go back into the darker color. And do the same thing on the inside part. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the scarf. Picking up the darker magenta, I'm actually going to make some more. She looks so cute. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush off. Okay, now I'm going to take a little dotting tool. You can use the back side of your brush to dot with. That works just as well, but I have the tool, so I might as well use it. And I'm going to put little dots on the shoes where the shoelaces would go. Okay, the next thing I want to do is add some fringe to the scarf. So I'm going to take that light magenta color, a little bit of water on my brush. I'm going to take my number five round brush. And now, don't forget, this is blowing in the wind because she's skating away. So you want some sort of movement to it, but you want it to go back, backwards.
go. I'm going to bring this point down just a little bit. And then maybe, I don't know, quarter inch from the nose. I'm going to draw some lashes. Give her a couple little eyebrows. That's it. A little dot there. And I'm going to take an even smaller brush, a micro brush. This is a, you can use this to do fingernails and stuff. But I like it because it makes a really thin line, which is what I'm looking for right now. All right, and so we're going to put a little mouth there. Okay, so wash your brushes off, and then we're going to do the background. Okay, now I'm going to take a number five filbert brush and I'm going to be picking up some white paint and I'm going to kind of create a hilly area. In our background there. We're going to have a, a, a big tree here, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can't see the other side. But I want to be able to distinguish where this ends and where our lake, our frozen lake, begins. And I probably should have done this first. But... I'm going to try to go brighter at the top. I'm going to come back and add to this, too. I'm going to have to come back and touch that up. Okay, I'm gonna take some more white. Just sort of I'm gonna take a tiny bit of phalo blue and mix it with a little white.
take some more white and now I'm just kind of dabbing it in there on the top of our little snow hills and at the base of our lake All right. Okay, so I'm going to use the same brush for the tree. And for the tree, we're going to use, I have sap green. So I'm going to load some sap green and some black. I might use a bigger brush. Let me see what I have here. Yeah, you know. I'm going to actually go up to the number 10 bristle brush. And I'm going to start with a little bit of black on my brush and sap green, sort of mix them. Be careful with the black because it will take over the whole pile of green. All right. Okay, and I want my tree to, oops, I'm going to start it, let's see gonna have it probably about this wide so let's start at about I don't know inch and a half to two inches from the top and I'm just gonna pull a straight line right down okay doesn't have to be perfectly straight and now I'm gonna use the corner of the brush at the top and I'm just going to tap going back and forth just little bits I'm just going to go right down and then we're going to add, we'll build outward, right down into the snowy area. I'm picking some more up. And this bottom part, we're going to start to build it out. Okay, you don't want them all to be the same. So just randomly. Tap. Okay. I want more paint in the middle of the tree in this area. Sort of cover the so we're gonna put snow on this. It's gonna look so pretty. Okay, I actually went a little bit higher with the tree. And that's just fine. Okay, if you want more trees, feel free. But I think for us right now, do I want any more? I don't know. I'll think about it. All right, now what I'm going to do is rinse off my brush. I'm going to take a number six, six, uh, the smaller size brush like I just had. And again, I'm going to do the black and the green. Mix them up. And I think I'm going to do another little tree right here. And again, I'm just going back and forth with this. Getting a little wider as I go. Okay, and that should do for right now. And like I said, we're going to add uh, snow. Our trees are also going to need some shadowing. And I'm going to pick up the tiniest bit of green. So we get some sort of color reflection in our water. Again, just touch okay 
gonna wash my brush off. Oh, I'm sorry if you missed some of the uh, the shadowing that I did on the bottom here. All I did is take a little bit of black and water and uh, I just rubbed it in. And then I took a paper towel and sort of swept it like that. Just so there's a little bit of a shadow. I'm figuring the sun's coming from up here. Okay, so now it's time to put the snow on the trees. I'm going to use my number 10 bristle brush, and I'm just going to pick up some clean white paint on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to start with the corner of the brush at the top. You don't want to cover all of your green, okay? You're just going to tap it on. where you think there should be snow. Okay, now we'll do the smaller tree. I think I can get away with this brush. And this tree is in front of the other, so you can go over some of those that are there already. Okay. And there's our trees. Put a little bit at the top here, boom. That top there. Now I'd like to paint just a little mound of snow underneath the tree where the uh, where the bottom of the uh, of the stem of the tree is. Kind of set it back just a little bit, neaten up the bottom, and I'll do the same for this one. We sort of lost our uh, our edge here. So I'm just taking some white and, and redoing that part of it there. There, now we have a defined line where the lake is. Okay, and then the last thing that I want to do is snow. Ooh, I love making snow. So I'm going to take, let's see, I have a toothbrush. Come on. Yes, I do. Ordinary toothbrush turning and paint into magic. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to put it in some white paint. Just the white. Maybe wet it just a little bit more. I'm going to test it on my palette. There we go. And I'm going to spray it onto my canvas. Just do it slowly, going over all of it. There we have a beautiful snowy ice skating penguin. So I forgot to highlight his scarf. So we are not done quite yet. I'm going to take my small flat brush. 
we're going to paint right over the snow. I'm going to take a little bit of the, of the magenta on the corner of the brush. And I'm going to go underneath. top part of the scarf and then I also want to do this area in here and by the hat okay and just blend that in that's it okay oh we have a visitor Who that? it's keister hi keister is one of my italian greyhounds i have two ignats and keister and they're usually within two feet of me at all times all right I want to decorate her scarf. I think I'm going to give her polka dots on the scarf. So I'm going to take a dotting tool with a large end on it. This makes for great polka dots. And I'm going to make, hmm, I guess I'll make white polka dots. Okay. So these make great circles. I have daubers too. They were great, but I don't have them out at the moment. So we're just going to make some random circles here. You can use a paintbrush too. You don't have to use a, a dotting tool. And I'm going to add some on the scarf. There we go. 